Good morning, friends. It's Thursday. My face looks a little weird, and I'll get to that in a sec. <laughs> so bizarre just with like the long weekend at the start of it so it's actually Thursday but it feels like Wednesday and I'm going to vlog a day in my life and do a productive day in my life because I have a lot of things to do today a lot of things to share with you guys and yeah I'm excited I'm wearing my cute green jumper from my last video I did a huge princess poly haul if you guys haven't seen that definitely go check it out I got $1,200 worth of stuff which is crazy and all of it is so stinking cute I even got these pants I don't know how I'm going to show you guys these, but they like, they match. <laughs> and it comes with a top, but I'm not wearing it. But yeah, they're so stinking cute and I just, I love everything. And my discount code for 20% off all of Princess Polly is available, or is active for a month. So you can use it for the entire month. For my coffee this morning, I got new Nespresso pods. They had a chocolate fudge flavor that I wanted to try. So I ordered a couple of sleeves of those. And it's not bad. It definitely smells like chocolate. It doesn't super taste like chocolate and it's definitely a dark chocolate. But yeah, I always love trying the new Nespresso pods, but this is uh, not my fave if I'm being honest. I also got a bunch of like half caffeinated ones because I like to have those in like the mid afternoon if I want something warm and coffee like but don't want to have full caffeine. And then I also got some like caramel ones that I normally get. So that's what I made for the coffee this morning. I got a couple products from Sephora and so this is what I used last night on my face. I tried the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops and I got the shade dark. I don't think that they had medium and that's why I got the dark and normally for tanners and stuff I do actually go with the dark one more so just because I like a deeper tan and I'm not kidding I used two drops of this because my friend Liv she was like I have the medium and I use like four drops like don't go crazy and I was like okay good because normally I for my tan luxe ones I use like quite a few um, and so this was two drops and you guys can see it's a little bit like patchy and stuff up here um, but other than that it's not bad I really like the formula of this so far a lot better just because it's a little bit thicker so it's more like a serum and also it has like virtually no scent to it which is super cool. Yeah, it's definitely like a thicker serum and no scent, which is really cool. So I'm going to keep testing them out. I obviously don't need to put any more on because there, there's a lot on my face. If you guys use a self tanner for your face, let me know what you use and what you like because I'm still obviously testing this one out. I've tried the Tan Lux drops. I've tried the Saint Tropez spray, which I do really like. It's just the packaging that really sucks because after you use like half of it, the sprayer stops working. That one's the best like for application I find. I've tried the Saint Tropez serum and I think that's pretty much it. I haven't tried the Loving Tan one that I mentioned in the last video. I believe that's more of a cream though. But anyway, if you have a favorite, let me know. And then just while we're here, I also picked up a new sunscreen. I showed this on my Instagram. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I've heard so many people talk about this and I've just been wanting it for a really long time. And it's an SPF 40, but it's basically meant to replace your primer and it goes on like a silicone kind of texture if you guys can see that it's really smooth and so i feel like it would be definitely like poor blurring if you were to blur just on its own and i really like the fact that it just is supposed to replace your primer it makes applying sunscreen so easy as for the scent it's like such a faint sunscreen scent and i personally love the scent of sunscreen because it makes me feel like i'm going to the beach so yeah I like that. I think it'll be good. And again, I'm testing this out to make sure it doesn't break me out or anything. I probably shouldn't have tested these two products out at the same time on my face, but that's uh, what I do. So yeah. Anyway, I like this. I also know that they have like a tinted version, which might be better for the summer when you don't really want to wear makeup, if that makes sense. And you just want to throw on like a tinted sunscreen. So I might try that later. But yeah, I've been wanting to try this out. I'll have both products linked below. But yeah, so far so good. The more I look at my face, the more splotchy I find my self tanner. So I'm going to put on makeup, but I have truly spent the past like two and a half hours just replying to emails and doing selects for different things. There's just like a lot of like behind the scenes work that I've needed to do. And then I just posted a new Instagram and I had this idea yesterday to share one of my biggest hair tips. It's kind of lame, but it's truly how I get like all of the volume in my hair. I have really thick hair you guys know and so getting volume doesn't always work when I use like hairspray and tonsil spray and all that kind of stuff. So I have a tip on this picture here. 
turn down my brightness so you can actually see it. So if you want to go check it out on my Instagram, go check out this photo. There's like a little swipe for a video. And yeah, so I had that idea and I posted it. That's pretty much how Instagram works for me. <laughs> And of course now I'm absolutely starving so I'm going to make myself some avocado toast with an egg on top. I'm not going to show you guys because I've shown you so many times and I don't want to bore you. But yeah, I'm absolutely starving so I'm going to do that now. package that I just went down to pick up is actually stuff I ordered from Urban Outfitters. I ordered kind of a random assortment. So I have We're Not Really Strangers. This is a card game I've seen a lot of people post about. You can play with friends, you can play with family or your uh, significant other. And so I got it and I thought it would be kind of fun. And then I also got this, which is a Shea Moisture product. So random that it's from Urban Outfitters, but I've heard a lot of people and seen a lot of people use their hair care. I have tried a Shea Moisture face mask that I had as my holy grail for quite a few years, but I've never tried any of their hair care. And like I said, I've seen a lot of people talk about their stuff. And so I grabbed the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I wanted something that I could put in my hair that moisturizes when I get out of the shower. I'm pretty sure you apply this on damp hair and it has uh, shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar in it. So we're gonna give this a try. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but yeah, I wanna smell it. It's definitely a thick lotion-y cream, so I'll probably use a very little bit because I don't want my hair to be too oily. It honestly doesn't have the best smell ever, but it's not the worst either, so we'll see how it applies on the hair. I'll try that out next time I shower. And then for some reason, I guess because things ship separately, I also got this package also from Urban Outfitters. This is like an expansion pack for the game. They had a couple different expansion packs, but I grabbed the relationship one. Here's a look inside the game. Come curious. Ooh leave connected there's a lot of different pieces in this so you get the three card stacks so there's different levels there is level one perception level two connection and level three is reflection cute comes with a little pencil little note from the creator how to play and then the final card and a notepad so yeah this seems like a really fun little game especially for like a date night or like i said you can play with friends or family i think it's two to six players um but yeah i'll link it down below it's gaining a lot of popularity and i feel like i've just like played all of our games a lot so i wanted to try something different well i got myself ready for the day i essentially just changed my outfit i'm now wearing black leggings a flannel still comfy and I was going to do my hair but then I decided not to I let it air dry last night and it's like I mean not great but it's not bad and I'm going to work out later so it's like there's really no point it's around three o'clock now and I think that I'm going to do a midday kitchen cleanup empty the dishwasher tidy up the counters get everything just tidy because it's kind of messy right now so I'm gonna put on some music and do that again so 
So I'm making lunch. I have zero ideas on good healthy lunches. So if you have any that are gluten free, what do you guys have for lunch? Do you have lunch? I just feel like around four o'clock, which is when I usually have my lunch, it's typical. I just have no ideas and nothing's prepared. So I want something quickly. And I feel like I've really been into wraps and stuff lately, but I haven't found a good gluten free tortilla that's like big enough to do like a, a wrap type thing and so i've been eating way too much of this chickpea pasta you guys have seen so i'm just like fresh out of ideas i think next week maybe i'll try and do like some meal prepping to do some like veggie rice bowls or something i just i'm so uninspired and like having a plain salad just isn't the move right now i'm making vegetables with it i'm steaming some broccoli and some peppers but yeah if you guys have any lunch suggestions I greatly appreciate it. I usually have a smoothie. I'm just not in the mood for that right now because I'm cold, so I want something warm and like comforting. And also, I can have that later, you know? I don't know. I'm just like somewhat uninspired when it comes to food lately, so let me know what you guys have for lunch in the comments. And an update from the last vlog. We got a new strainer. Found one very, very similar. The only thing is it doesn't have a handle, which I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll see, it's a little bit bigger riveting content. For a little afternoon coffee situation, I'm gonna do a dirty chai. I have the Starbucks Blonde Roast here, that's iced coffee. I have the Tazo Chai Concentrate. I wish Canada had more options when it came to sugar-free chai mixes, because I know that the States has like a lot better options. But anyway, that's all my grocery store had. And then for milk, I have the Silk Coconut because I'm trying to cut back on oat milk and switch to a coconut instead. Ooh! I also eyeball it every single time, so you never know how it's gonna taste. That's good. It's mostly chai this time. I definitely put more chai than coffee, but that's tasty. Mm. So my recent night routine, or I guess the start of my night routine, has been a workout. I figured because Life is so weird right now. Obviously we're staying in. I need to move my body more. I don't walk, I don't exercise. Um, I'm doing this like 31 day challenge thing. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because whenever I do explain things in depth, I like don't end up finishing them. So when I do, if I do, when I do, I will tell you about it. But anyway, I'm going to do my workout now. I think it's only like 30-ish, maybe less minutes. Today we're doing like butt stuff and I actually picked up new, bands because I had these plastic ones or rubber ones whatever material this is from Amazon and they were just sliding down they were the absolute worst so I picked up these peach bands they seemed really good I'll show you guys them and um yeah that's the plan I figured that this is the best time of night I definitely prefer working out at night I've always danced at night so it just like is the way my body has been conditioned and then yeah since Cody gets home kind of late I can do like my workout as like kind of my wind down end of the day de-stressor and then we make dinner and then that's like my evening but I want to show you guys these bands so here are what the bands look like I'm pretty sure I ordered these yesterday and they already came today which is perfect because I do need them for today's workout and you get a light medium and a heavy and I just wanted these ones because they're like proper fabric and they just seem so much better they have like this grip on the inside to make it easier to stay up and these just like are honestly 10 thousand times better quality than these i don't know what i was thinking about that one they're really old i have like random workout equipment i have like this little dumbbell thing from tone it up i have some weights also this like little flexi thing from tone it up target line like so many years ago anyway i just needed to upgrade my bands so i'm gonna give them a go today and i'll let you know what i think and 30 minutes later i'm a sweaty mess but that was good it was basically mostly like ballet bar inspired so i basically did a bar class with a booty band workout at the beginning these are amazing. I really like them. I used the light one because I did the booty band workout first and I was like, let's not push it. It did seem a little light as if I could have used the medium, but I just didn't want to push it. But yeah, wow. The quality of these are amazing. It made life so much easier. They didn't slip at all. So highly recommend these if you're looking for booty bands. I'm going to go take a shower. I don't really use the calendar spread of my planner because I use Google Calendar for things that would go in a monthly spread. And so instead I've been keeping track of my workouts and giving myself gold stars every time I do it because it's encouraging. 